Hey guys, this is a uh, 2021 Lund Adventure 1775 Sport with the 90 horsepower motor. So recently, uh, still kind of learning how to use this boat. Uh, it's, it's my first boat, so a um, lot of lot of learning curve um, on my end. But uh, for some reason, the live well um, pump area or whatever pump stopped working. <laughs> And uh, we checked the fuse, always check your fuse, fuses first. It looks perfect. Um, and obviously it's supposed to make a noise like this, which is the bilge. That's the bilge pump, which is the same pump as the live well. And then here is the live well. Makes no noise. Okay, so what I found out was that uh, if you do have the automatic live well button, um, I left mine on auto and I took it out of the water and um, uh, I, what I'm guessing happened and it was only like a 15 minute drive. What I'm guessing happened is that the pump just uh, wore itself out, um, burned itself up just because it was sucking air for so long. I guess the auto pumps are on a timer and they don't detect water or anything. So just make sure you turn your um, auto live well off when you're taking your boat out of the water. Rookie mistake like many other things, but I'll never do it again. Um, so this is actually not too bad. Um, this is the replacement pump. Um, it's a Johnson pump. It seems kind of universal. Um, it was only like $25 on Amazon. So I went ahead and got a second one over there. Um, so all you have to do is pop this sucker open here. And then you can see right there is one of the pumps. Um, I think that's the bilge. Can you flip the bilge switch? And then I'll be able to tell which is which here. Okay, so yeah. That is the bilge, which makes sense. It's flush with the bottom of the boat. And that is the live well. And that is what I need to replace. And it actually... I think it looks worse than it is. Pretty sure this is gonna be a pretty easy replacement. I'm gonna start by undoing that hose clamp and then popping that off of there. Um, and then I'm gonna make sure that this is the right part for that. I'm gonna pull that out of here and make sure that's the right part. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, status update. A little more difficult than I thought. Pop that out of there, not too bad. Um, these cords, though, do not want to pull very much. There's not a lot of slack. Came out pretty easily. It is the right pump. It popped right out of there. I right uh, just had to pull kind of hard on that hose. So what the plan is here, I guess, I'm just uh, shooting off the hip here because I haven't watched anyone do this. I'm just going to uh, chop these maybe about that much. And then I'm going to go buy some of those uh, twist-on caps. I'm going to ask for marine grade if that's a thing. Okay, my helper here. All right, just to make sure, because I haven't, I don't own any of those uh, twisty electrical connection things yet. I just want to make sure that this is, in fact, the problem. So what I did is I disconnected that pump. And I've got, I pulled a little bit of slack of, of these wires out here. And I'm gonna touch them to, touch them to these wires. I also have a multimeter, um, but I think this is an easier option. It's about the same, honestly, but I don't feel like getting it out. So if all you have is the multimeter and you wanna check that this is it, um, just nick those wires a little bit, put the, put the probes on each wire and um, turn your switch on and if it you know if it moves at all then it's getting power uh, then it's definitely the pump if it's not getting power you got a different option or, or a problem actually let's test this out really quick I'm gonna touch the the black to the black and the brown to the brown I'm gonna set this pump up here so it doesn't go crazy pretty tight working conditions in here all right now Allison if you want to just flick the switch really quick and then flick it right back off and actually leave it on and then come film this thing working here, assuming it does. 
It's on. There we go. That's me touching it. And now I let go, touching it again. Okay, so this proves that the pump was in fact bad and that we needed a new pump here. So, all right. I'm gonna go buy those screw on things and get this thing buttoned up together. A little more labor intensive than I originally thought. Wish there was like a plug. I wish it just plugged in, that'd be really nice. Okay guys, just got back from Home Depot, quick trip. Um, try to, I pretty much learn everything, something every time I go there. So I have the tried and true. I just need some of these at the house and it'll do if all else fails, but I think we're, we're taken care of here. Second option. I don't know which one of these is going to be the best option. I think this is just a, you click it in both sides type of thing and it's, and it's good to go. It's pretty neat. I like that. Also have one of these, which is kind of the same thing, I guess, but they just both plug in sideways. You know, each of these probably has their own perfect intended use. Um, leaning towards that one so far. Lastly, and what I think will be our best option is this guy right here. You basically make your own plug, which I was complaining about earlier is that freaking pump should come with its own plug, dang it. I mean, that'd be just so much easier to change those out if it ever happens, right? Yeah, so I think I'm going to try this at first, and then you basically turn your boat into a uh, plug, and then you don't have to worry about trimming the wires if it ever fails again in the future. And yes, this is all covered under warranty, but this pump's 20 bucks, and I don't feel like driving to the dealer and leaving my boat at the dealer for however long and then having to pick it back up. That's just a lot of work for something so simple, so... I'm going to try this out, and then I'll uh, come back later. I'm probably going to get roasted by this in the comments for whatever reason, because uh, I guess everyone's probably an electrician. And maybe it's justified. Um, I will read all of them. But uh, at the end of the day, this is my boat, and um, whatever decisions I make, I have to live with, and I'm prepared to live with this one. Looks like it's uh, ground and power. I'll plug this in really quick. Okay, no satisfying click, but it did uh, push in pretty, has a good um, push into it, I guess. I think I might cover this up with uh, black electrical tape really, really quick. Okay, I wrapped uh, each one up individually, and then I wrapped them kind of together just to keep everything tight from jiggling around in there. Now I'm gonna pop this side off. and um, do the same thing um, on the boat side. All right, got that side plugged in as well. All right, now I'm gonna install this pump and then plug them together and we'll see what happens. All right, that was pretty easy getting this into here. Um, that little, let's see. That little lever right there, um, it does move a little bit. I just kind of pop it up here and it allows the pump to turn. But you want it all the way to the right um, in the locked position and then just pop that right back in there. And uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna test this out and then uh, plug that, plug that hose back in here and I should be good to go. So let's see if it works. All right, all plugged in. Aerator, careful with the auto. Manual. And working good, but I don't want to burn it out again, so let's turn that off. All right, I'm gonna reattach that hose. All right, this will end the video here. I, uh, I zip tied, you can, actually you can kind of see right there. I zip tied the connector right there, um, the wires, just to, uh, you know, when the, if there gets any water in here or things are bouncing around a little bit, just as an added layer of protection there, just getting the zip tie, keep it out of the way off the bottom of the uh, hull. 
just to prevent any further issues down the line. Um, got the water hose hooked up there and I am gonna go fishing tomorrow. We're gonna go fishing tomorrow and um, we're going to see, uh, make sure everything's watertight, make sure water's flowing in there and uh, hopefully fill it up with some fish, so. There's a little perch. little perch. Nice. Teamwork, look at that. Oh, Lord, Richie. Uh oh, yeah, that's possible. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, please leave it a like and uh, consider subscribing. Uh, Arlo would really appreciate it here. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something and I made your life a little easier watching this. Thanks. Bye bye.